Oh, that's, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Some water for the morning. Here we go. Good old drink. All right, let me sniff. Where's mom? Where's mom? Where's mom? Okay, I'm getting a little bit. I'm getting a little bit uh, anxious here. Yeah, it's just a, I think uh, the, the little ones just don't know exactly which one is mom, yeah, for by the scent, of course, but also, you know, they do communicate, and uh, we can only really hear around about 5% uh, of the time when elephants communicate with that low rumble. And the frequency is very low, too low for us to actually pick up on at least about 95% of the time. So they can hear each other, they're always communicating with one another without us even knowing about it. And also, it's like how you know your mom. Like if you're a little, little kid, you quickly know which one is your mom. If you're in a, a shopping center, and all of a sudden you and your mom get split up somehow for some other reason, quickly you run from aisle to aisle and you'll know which one is your mom. I have before, Nadine, I've lost my mom in the grocery store when I was a kid. Trust me, I know all about it. All about it. I think the one day that the, the grocery manager had to call my mom on the intercom. Yeah. Dum, dum, dum. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we've got a young little boy here that is very lost. And uh, we are looking for the parents. Please, if you lost your child, come to the reception. Thank you. Dum, dum, dum. We also have apples for sale. <laughs> we, also say, we also have apples for sale. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he's doing it now. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Bark spiders in the morning will eat their, their, their silk and their web. Basically re-ingest it all and then go back into the tree where they'll then spend the day. There we go, it's busy recycling the web now. Suddenly the alarm went off. Oh, watch this, it's gonna just munch everything up. Remember, silk is protein based, everyone. So by ingesting it, they're able to just recycle it again. It was a fantastic sustainable practice, don't you think? Imagine we could just recycle absolutely everything that we use. Well, we can, everybody, if we just use the right materials. How fascinating. So I was thinking to myself, it's a bit late in the day for him to be out and about still. But suddenly something happened. The alarm clock went off. Time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. Now, obviously, a lot of our large animals are moving in the daytime. And they do move at night, but invariably, many of our large animals are sort of stationary. I'll spend time in an area and just wait there for the sunshine before they move around. The bark spider supposedly knows that by setting up the web at night to catch nocturnal insects is enough and suitable enough to then ingest all of the web once again and then start again tomorrow. But we're a good five, six meters from the opposite tree is fascinating how he's been able to send out a little balloon of silk which is then captured onto the tree eight nine ten meters from the first tree and then he pulls that web nice and tight Aaron you like spiders well the bark spider is very camouflaged he actually looks like a piece of bark goes into the tree it'd be nearly impossible to see him her but when they're sitting on their web they're quite easy to see because it's this, this dark blotch gray blotch look at that and they pull up munch all of it 
slowly but surely lowering itself down, ingesting, ingesting. Here it comes. The whole underside of this web is starting to vibrate with spiders. I'm starting to get a little bit of chills watching it. Oh, that was too much, too much pressure, too much force. And you see there's more coming. I'm not trying to damage the web here. My piece of grass has just gotten stuck. And this is a very big nest. It's covering, see, there's a couple out in the open here, Paul. There we go. There's a community web spider. There's a few of them. They're busy building, fixing. So when you've got a web of this size, you've got lots of individuals to help fix and build. Now they're using three or four of them, all coming for the same insect that just got caught. Oh my goodness. Oh, stuff of nightmares. Can you see that? <laughs> Catherine, it's not often you get such activity in a nest. I can't say I've experienced the same sort of chills I'm experiencing right now. This whole underside of this nest is vibrating with spiders. All right, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Amakala Game Reserve on a very good start to a good day. We've managed to find some lions right here at the pan drinking water and I think it's a good start. All right, like I said, a great start to a wonderful afternoon. Um, yeah, with the weather, we're just worried that it was going to rain uh, just before the drive. Luckily, that didn't happen so far. And uh, yeah, we embrace with a beautiful view of some lions at the moment. Very special, nice view. All of them drinking, or three of them drinking. There's four in total here. And it's always wonderful to watch lions drinking. This buffalo is standing proud on the heap of the road there, looking directly at me. Or Morgan, not sure, maybe both of us. Very unique nose, a bit of a birthmark there on the nose. This is that bull that's been huffing and puffing, doing the phlegm and grimace. 